Hi, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create a mathematical singularity in 3D. Now you're going to find a similar singularity in movies and in Einstein documentaries. So I hope you really pay attention to what I'm saying. Now the central idea behind this formula lies in the radius of these concentric circles going up the z-axis. Now this is the positive part of the z-axis. What you need to know is that as z approaches infinity, right? As this height approaches infinity, r, which is the radius of these concentric circles, approaches zero. Now, as z approaches zero, right? r approaches infinity itself. Now, you have to imagine the z equals zero plane as an asymptote. It means that z can only approach zero. It's never actually going to reach zero. So these concentric circles near the plane z equals zero get larger and larger and larger until they almost fill the space of this two-dimensional y-x plane itself. So the equation of this mathematical singularity is actually r equals the square root of 1 over z. So, as you can see, as z approaches infinity, this fraction gets extremely small. So r itself approaches zero. But as z approaches zero, this fraction gets larger and larger. So r this time approaches infinity. Now this r is related to these concentric circles, right? We know that r squared is equal to x squared plus y squared, right? Therefore, r itself is equal to the square root of x squared plus y squared, right? So this formula right here transforms into the square root of x squared plus y squared equals the square root of 1 over z. Now from here we're going to get x squared plus y squared is 1 over z. Now I'm going to multiply both sides of this equation by z. Right? So I get z multiplied by x squared plus y squared is equal to 1. Now I'm going to divide both sides of this equation by x squared plus y squared. Right? And if I do this, I'm going to be left with z equals 1 over x squared plus y squared. And if you plug this in to a 3D graphing program or a piece of software, you are going to get this singularity over here. It's going to look like this. Now, the singularity may be turned upwards because the positive z-axis, right, is going to be up here on your graphing software. So you're going to have to move that graph around to get the singularity looking like this. But this is the idea behind this equation and uh, I really hope you're able to create it using 3D graphing software. Thank you for watching this video.